you already know that exercise is good for you. It builds muscle, it burns fat, and it boosts energy, right? But get this, it isn't just about looking good or staying fit. There's a hidden mechanism inside your cells that exercise can activate, one that reverses a key driver of aging, something that cleans out cellular junk, repairs your body from the inside out, and slows aging at a fundamental level. It's called autophagy. And if you're not optimizing it with exercise, you're missing out on a huge longevity benefit. Your body has a built-in system for cleaning out damaged cellular components and keeping everything running smoothly. It's called autophagy. And want to know one of the most powerful ways to activate this process? Exercise. But not all exercises or all workouts have the same effect. In today's video, we'll explore how different types of exercise trigger autophagy, why the cellular cleanup is crucial for longevity, and how you can optimize your fitness routine to enhance muscle function, brain health, and metabolic proficiency. If you want to make your workouts work for your longevity, stay tuned. Now, before we continue, I want to make sure that you know about the Longevity Alliance, our free school community. If you join, you'll have access to my complete Foundations of Longevity online course, to our weekly Q&A sessions, and a supportive group of fellow biohackers, all at absolutely no cost. Whether you're just starting out or well into your longevity journey, you'll find valuable connections and insights here. And the best part? It's free, forever. Just click the link right up here or in the description below to check out this amazing community. Autophagy is the body's built-in recycling system. This is a process that allows cells to remove damaged components and reuse them for either energy or recycle them into new components. It starts when a cellular structure called a phagophore forms around dysfunctional mitochondria, mis misfolded proteins, or other waste materials. Now, this structure expands into an autophagosome, a double membrane vesicle that engulfs the debris. Once sealed, the autophagosome fuses with a lysosome. This is an organelle packed with digestive enzymes, which break down its contents into raw materials that the cell can repurpose. Now, this mechanism is essential for cellular health. It prevents the buildup of waste that can lead to dysfunction. It plays a critical role in things like muscle maintenance, brain function, and metabolic health. Without effective autophagy, cells become cluttered with damaged components. Now, this can accelerate aging and increase the risk of diseases like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and, far and, and cardiovascular conditions. Autophagy is not just about cellular cleanup. It's about keeping the body functioning optimally for as long as possible. And exercise is one of the most powerful natural activators of autophagy. When we engage in physical activity, our muscles experience stress, our cells consume energy, and our body temporarily shifts into a state of controlled damage. This stress signals the body to repair and adapt, and autophagy plays a role in that process. By breaking down and recycling damaged cellular components, autophagy helps muscles recover, enhances mitochondrial function, and improves metabolic efficiency. Now, the response to exercise on autophagy is different in different tissues. In skeletal muscle, autophagy helps with recovery and performance. In the brain, it protects neurons from oxidative stress, reducing the risk of cognitive decline. In the immune system, it helps remove dysfunctional cells, strengthening the body's defense mechanisms. Regardless of the exercise type, the repeated activation of autophagy through movement is essential for long-term health and longevity. Exercise activates autophagy through key molecular pathways that sense changes in cellular energy levels. And one of the most important of these is AMPK, an enzyme that monitors the cell's energy status. When energy is low, such as during intense exercise, AMPK is activated. This enzyme acts as a switch and it shuts off mTOR. Now, that's a complex protein that's anabolic. It helps to build new tissue and normally prevents autophagy from occurring. Once mTOR is suppressed, autophagy is initiated. A study from 2020 noted that exercise induces decreased ATP AMP in the cell which activates AMPK. AMPK activation promotes inhibition of mTOR, leading to autophagy initiation. 
Another major regulator of autophagy is ULK1. Now, this is an enzyme that serves as a key trigger for autophagy. Once mTOR inhibition occurs, ULK1 is activated, setting off a cascade of events that form the autophagosome, the first step in autophagy. Now, the effects of exercise on autophagy depend on the type of exercise, the intensity, the duration, and the frequency with which you exercise. Resistance training, such as weightlifting, simulates autophagy in skeletal muscles, but the response differs based on how consistently you're working out. A single session of resistance training, such as weightlifting, can temporarily suppress autophagy. This, is, this happens because immediately after exercise, the body prioritizes muscle repair over cellular recycling. And this requires an anabolic state, which needs mTOR to be activated. However, long-term resistance training has the opposite effect. When resistance training is performed consistently over time, autophagy levels increase. Now, one study noted that an acute bout of resistance training or a resistance exercise reduced autophagy while long-term resistance exercise enhanced autophagy in human skeletal muscles. This helps maintain muscle quality by removing damaged proteins and organelles, preventing long-term muscle degradation. Cardio exercise, such as running or cycling, presents a more complex interaction with autophagy. Moderate endurance exercise, so we're talking like zone two training here. Apparently, it does not always increase autophagy significantly in skeletal muscle. However, long-term high-intensity endurance training has been shown to activate autophagy, particularly in immune cells. This suggests that while resistance or strength training primarily supports autophagy in muscle, high-intensity interval training may enhance cellular recycling in other tissues. Okay, so the impact of exercise on autophagy also appears to be highly tissue-specific. In skeletal muscle, autophagy is essential for removing damaged mitochondria, maintaining endurance, and preventing muscle deterioration with age. In the brain, however, exercise-induced autophagy plays a more protective role. It clears out toxic proteins and reduces neuroinflammation. Now, this may help slow cognitive decline and lower the risk of neurodegenerative diseases. In the immune system, on the other hand, autophagy enhances immune cell function. It does this by eliminating defective or senescent immune cells, improving overall immune resilience. Exercise-induced autophagy plays a vital role in preserving muscle function, metabolic health, and cognitive resilience as the body ages. By clearing out damaged proteins and organelles, autophagy helps maintain muscle integrity. It can help prevent the gradual loss of strength and mobility that comes with aging. Now, this is essential for maintaining muscle mass and function, reducing the risk of sarcopenia, and supporting overall physical performance. Metabolic health is another major area where autophagy activation through exercise has profound benefits. Turns out, improving mitochondrial efficiency has a big impact on the metabolism. It enhances insulin sensitivity and boosts energy production. This contributes to better blood sugar regulation. It also lowers the risk of metabolic disorders like type 2 diabetes. The impact of autophagy on brain health is equally significant. As the brain ages, it accumulates toxic protein aggregates that contribute to neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Exercise-induced autophagy can help. It plays a protective role by removing these harmful proteins. This supports the growth of new neurons and enhances synaptic plasticity. It also reduces inflammation and preserves cognitive function. Now, this activation of autophagy in the brain through regular physical activity may help slow age-related cognitive decline and maintain mental clarity. Additionally, exercise has been linked to increased autophagy in immune cells, helping to reduce chronic inflammation and supporting overall immune function. By reducing inflammation, preserving tissue health, and clearing cellular damage, autophagy plays a direct role in longevity. One of the big benefits of aging on the human body is that autophagy becomes compromised. It's one of the hallmarks of aging. Autophagy slows down and becomes less effective. Waste products and damaged components start to accumulate. Consistent long-term exercise can help restore compromised autophagy. It can enhance 
the body's ability to repair itself and maintain optimal function. By regularly activating autophagy, exercise slows cellular aging. One of the primary ways it does this is by removing dysfunctional mitochondria, which are major sources of oxidative stress. Damaged mitochondria generate excessive reactive oxygen species, or ROS, a major cause of oxidative damage. Exercise-induced autophagy ensures that only healthy functional mitochondria remain. Now, this can improve energy production and reduce oxidative damage. This effect extends across multiple tissues, promoting resilience of muscles, the brain, and the cardiovascular system. Exercise-induced autophagy also plays a key role in preventing the accumulation of senescent cells. As cells lose their ability to function properly, they enter a state of senescence where they no longer divide, but they still remain metabolically active, secreting a toxic brew of inflammatory molecules. By stimulating autophagy, exercise helps eliminate these damaged cells before they accumulate, reducing inflammation and protecting tissues from premature aging. Exercise-induced autophagy can also protect the brain from age-related decline. It can preserve cognitive function by clearing toxic protein aggregates. This can reduce the risk of dementia and neurodegenerative diseases. It also supports neuroplasticity, maintaining learning and memory. In the muscles, it can prevent degeneration and maintain strength. Across the body, it enhances longevity by keeping cells healthy and functional for longer, allowing individuals to remain physically and mentally capable well into their old age. Now, maximizing autophagy through exercise requires a strategic approach. You need to balance resistance training and endurance activities for optimal cellular renewal. Resistance training, such as weightlifting or bodyweight exercises, is particularly effective at stimulating long-term autophagy in muscle tissue. Engaging in resistance workouts two to four times per week ensures continuous muscle adaptation and cellular recycling. Endurance exercise, including running, rowing, or cycling, or high-intensity interval training, also plays a role in boosting autophagy. For those seeking to maximize autophagy, incorporating both high-intensity sessions and extended endurance sessions a few times per week can complement the benefits of resistance training. And combining exercise with fasting further amplifies the activation of autophagy. Training in a fasted state, such as performing morning workouts before eating, forces cells to rely on stored energy and increase the body's need to recycle cellular components. This enhances the overall autophagic response. Now, maintaining consistency is essential. Autophagy benefits accumulate over time. By strategically integrating these approaches, individuals can optimize cellular health, slow aging, and extend longevity through exercise-enhanced autophagy. Exercise isn't just about burning calories or building muscle. It's a powerful tool to activate autophagy. It helps remove damaged mitochondria, clear out toxic proteins, and enhance overall cellular function. It doesn't matter whether you're doing strength training, cardio, or HIIT. Activating autophagy as you age plays a crucial role in keeping your muscles strong, your brain sharp, and your metabolism efficient. By incorporating strategic workouts into your routine, you're not just improving fitness, you're engaging in one of the most fundamental longevity mechanisms in your body. Okay, that's it for me. I'm out of here. Check out my free school community if you'd like to learn more about human longevity. Catch you guys next time.